Miss Rayleigh is meeting the gecko. Not quite sure what she thinks of him. She's a little nervous. It's okay though, Gus is a good boy. Aren't you, friend? I think he's digging this soft blanket, huh? So we just put Gus the gecko back in his tank. And now we have some food for him. So Miss Rayleigh is going to help me feed him. And you guys can watch too. So somebody is watching some My Little Pony before dinner and I've got chicken on the grill so I think it will be done now. Go check it, see, and we'll get her out for some food. So somebody is having fun on the rocking horse, joined by Mr. Yowley. Huh. So Rayleigh finished dinner, and now we are back upstairs. We're going to have some playtime before bed, even though it's still super light outside. This girl has had a long journey, and I want to make sure that she gets lots of sleep. So we're just... <laughs> Upstairs playing. I'm gonna let her pick out some toys, but in the meantime, she seems pretty content on the rocking horse. Hi, oh, Yowie. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you for your help. doing Can I have the camera back, please? Rayleigh. Rayleigh, don't throw the camera at the cat. I don't think Yali appreciates that. I'm sorry, buddy. What, do we need to get you your own little camera next, madam? My goodness. Miss Rayleigh is trying to pick out some toys to play with. 
although I did find her her own camera hidden in the toy box. I also grabbed her out a couple of dolls, but she seems to want more than just that. Huh, kiddo? I don't know what she's going to pick, but I'm sure it will be entertaining. I think somebody has decided that it would be more fun to play either peekaboo or hide and seek instead. What are you doing, you silly goose? All right. I don't know where Rayleigh went. Where is she? Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, I honestly, I don't know where she could have gone. Something's, something's moving over here, though. Oh my gosh. Where were you hiding? You're so silly. Okay. Get you all nice and relaxed. Alrighty. See, you got your elephant right here. Alright, so we're gonna get Miss Rayleigh all dressed in her pajamas, which are these really cute matching top and pants from Carter's. You have swans on them with little stars and hearts. Those are gonna look darling. And we'll comb through her hair and change her diaper and all that. Alright. Let's get the munchkin ready for bed. So Rayleigh has picked her book, and we're going to be reading her her story before bed. I think she's pretty tuckered out, so I figured we would all kind of hunker down with her and read her the book of her choice, which is the always classic Goodnight Moon. 
And as you can tell, this book is very, very well loved to say the least. This was actually my copy of Goodnight Moon from when I was a baby, so it is pretty old at this point, but it still is, I mean, still put together and it's still the same great classic story, so let us read Goodnight Moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of a cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting on chairs and two little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse and a comb and a brush and a bowl of mush and a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks and good night, socks. Good night, little house and good night, mouse. Good night, comb and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. And good night to Miss Rayleigh. And good night to you guys, too. I'm going to tuck this kiddo in, and we'll see you next time, too.